Well, it's not every day that I get to interview a real clown. So it's Robin Levin with real stories and real people. And today I'm very excited to be sharing with you Aaron Watkins, stellar circus clown coach and circus arts in healthcare program manager. Hello there. Hello, Robin. You also are known as Joe King. Joe King is my alter ego. Just Joe King. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Off to a good start. So let me first tell you a little bit about Aaron. He has laughed with people all over the world, from the White House to China and Dubai to the Ringling Brothers. And I know that you're also involved with the Big Apple in New York City. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. I, I started off my career uh, in New York with the Big Apple Circus uh, in a program called the Clown Care Unit. And the Clown Care Unit was a pioneering healthcare, uh, humor and healthcare unit. We went into hospitals all over the city dressed up as doctors and nurses and we would do phony operations on the, the pediatric patients there. Uh, and it was all kind of based on Norman Cousins' work of uh, how humor is really a, a, a healing thing. Um, and so uh, we worked in, uh, boy, there were at least a dozen hospitals. It started off very small when I joined. There were only, I believe, six clowns uh, doing this. Uh, and it has blossomed over the years into uh, more than 100 clowns worldwide, not just wow. in New York. Wow, outstanding. How about that, to have a career making people laugh? I love that. Me too. And speaking of that, let's see, you also, um, you directed the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. That's pretty cool. Well, not the whole parade. Oh, well. <laughs> but, but I did direct the clowns for several years. Uh, and the uh, Macy's employees are actually the only people who aren't big time celebrities who are allowed to be in the parade. So uh, it's, it's a huge deal for them. And it was a lot of fun. Excellent. And now in Sarasota, you are also making people laugh in the senior community. So let's, t let's hear a little bit more about that. Uh, yes, currently I'm working with the Circus Arts Conservatory. I'm the program manager, as you mentioned before, of Circus Arts and Healthcare. And um, we've, we take our show to people who can't necessarily to get to see our programs. We have a, a multitude of programs with the Circus Arts Conservatory, including Circus Sarasota, which is our one ring international professional circus. Uh, you'll see the big top uh, pitched up at University Town oh. Center every February. Yes, outstanding, I love it. Uh, we also are, are running, we produce the Sailor Circus, which is the oldest uh, youth circus in the entire country. More than 70 years this circus has been going on. Wow. And we have kids um, from elementary school all the way through high school. And when you see the Sailor Circus show, you don't say, oh, isn't that cute? You say, oh my goodness, I can't believe those kids are doing that stuff. Yeah. And you forget they're even kids because they, they do everything from high wire walking to rolling globes, juggling, trapeze, flying trapeze. It's, it's an amazing, amazing. show. Yeah. The entire purpose of our program uh, is to spread joy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a proven fact that uh, people laughing uh, generate their brains generate all kinds of chemicals that are good for you in, in all kinds of ways. Uh, you know, everything from you know your heart to your lungs to your brain. There's there's no drawback to laughing. It's it's the perfect uh, perfect cure. Absolutely. Talk to us a little bit about how that affects seniors and some of the studies that um, with dementia that, that people are suffering from. How do you, I know you bring joy to everybody, but how's that affected? Right. Well, we, we try to uh, engage all the residents at the, at the communities that we visit. Um, it's not that we just go and we stand up on the stage and we do a show and they laugh. Uh, it's, it's totally engaging. We actually uh, try to involve all of the senses. Now, of course, there's, there's sight and sound. We play a lot of music. We tell jokes. Uh, but we also, uh, we also get them involved uh, with, with their uh, senses of taste and smell. Hmm. Uh, every, our show is calendar based. So for instance, uh, this week or uh, this month was uh, National Fruitcake Toss Month. Um, okay. Take your Should old, I duck? Uh, Should duck? I duck? Where? <laughs> um, uh, you know, so, so we, we passed out samples of fruitcake. Uh, and we had people taste them, smell them, and then at the end we threw them around the room. We, we had a, a long distance fruitcake toss contest. Very nice. Um, and so, so they're, not, uh, they're not just sitting and watching a show. You get them involved. And we, we get them totally involved. Right. When I worked with pediatrics, we would go from room to room in the hospital and entertain just one child at a time and their families and, and perhaps the staff. 
but the in senior care these days, uh, the whole philosophy is to get people out of their rooms. You know, don't let them just sit in there and and you know atrophy, for lack of a better word. Right. Uh, we try to establish a community. Surprisingly, uh, reading is one of the last faculties to go if you have dementia or Alzheimer's disease. It, it surprised me. Um, so we print up jokes and they, the residents read them to each other. One will read the joke, oh, that's the other wonderful. will read the punchline. Yeah, so we involve them that way. And then the third type of connection that we try to make is actually connecting the person back to themselves because with dementia and Alzheimer's that's a connection that it gets farther and farther away as people forget who they are and, and, mm. and their memories. We don't, we don't ever go in and say, oh, do you remember this? Because that can really frustrate them. Right, I'm sure. So we'll say, you know, we'll, we'll give them a piece of fruitcake uh, in, in this particular example, and most people have bad memories of fruitcake. <laughs> That's um, so true. We we're just talking about that over the holidays. <laughs> yeah. But you know, depending on what you know, whatever we have for that particular uh, show, uh, we'll say, okay, you know, so smell this, uh, taste it. Uh, how do you feel about that? Mm -hmm. And then uh, some people will come back with memories. Oh, I remember my grandmother used to make her own fruitcake. Right. Um, and it was, you know, it, it, it takes them back to a time where they actually do remember without saying, okay, we're putting you on the spot. What do you remember about right. this? You don't make them feel bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And, and he also has some exciting news to be sharing about a panel you're going to be on, a humor panel a at panel? the Lifelong Learning Expo. Oh, is that like a solar panel? <laughs> I don't think so. Tell us about the humor panel. Well, but don't give too much away oh, because we want them much. to come. Make yeah. sure you come. Uh, it's going to be uh, myself. Uh, it will be Les McCurdy uh, from McCurdy's Comedy Club. Uh, it will be Will Loria from Florida Studio Theater who runs their improv program and several other surprise guests. Yes. And you can find out about the entire thing by visiting... SuncoastLifelongLearning.org. That's a mouthful. But go to SuncoastLifelongLearning.org. And we'll be seeing Joe King. Absolutely. Aaron and so many others. So come out and explore and meet all these fun folks and learn a lot. Hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for being here. Thanks, Robin. All righty. Bye for now.